Hi there, this is Rick Clark. The date today is Wednesday, November the 7th. I mention that because we just had an election in America yesterday, found out the results, and I know that our country is divided, and in fact there might be many who are disappointed uh, with our government. But I would like to take you to Psalm 24, verses 7 through 10 today, that calls for you to open up the gates for the King of Glory. Psalm 24, verse 7 says, Lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of Glory may come in. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, the Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Now, I honor our government, but our government is not going to save America. It's not going to change the world. Educators will not change the world. Our hope for the salvation of the last days is not going to come through the scientists. And although I respect businessmen very highly, we can't really look toward the business sector and the economy for our hope. But the Bible says, lift up your heads, O you gates, swing wide you everlasting doors, that the King of glory may come in. The church is the only hope for this world. The proclamation of the gospel of the king is the only means of salvation. And I'd like to suggest that for you to open up the gates of glory, it's going to take some prayer. It's going to take some Bible study. You've got to think about this. You have to seek him and find him. Don't be casual about this. And in fact, don't get discouraged, depressed, defeated, in despair, but rather lift up your own gates Swing wide your doors, whatever it takes. Get into the presence of the King of glory because he is our only hope.